we are going to discuss about the mass extinction and biodiversity loss and in which we will be focusing on the mass extinction. What is extinction? Extinction is when some organism is not anymore. We cannot find a species living in an area for a particular time and then we will say that species has been wiped out of that area and or it has been extinct. So if global extinction is happening, the extinction means that that organism does not live anymore. So extinction is now a key theme in discussions about the future. The paleontologists were very much interested in discussing the extinction in the past organism, for example, the extinction of dinosaurs. But today we are facing the climate change and we have some conditions on earth that we think that will be affecting our own survival. We might be extinct or the extinction of the all our contemporary living organisms. So this is the topic of today and we are thinking about the future as well when we are talking about the extinction. The dodo is perhaps the most iconic of icons for the extinction. Dodo was an organism, uh, a bird which went extinct due to overhunting and it is an icon uh, of human carelessness that we don't care about the other organisms and we use those uh, organisms for our, our own benefit. For example, Dodo was very, very docile. It came to the uh, human. It was an island bird and he was not able to fly. So what happened? that due to the easier hunting, it got hunted and it went extinct. So it is an icon of human carelessness rather than of avian extinction. Even though it's a bird which went extinct, but it is shown as the uh, icon of human carelessness. And here you can see an image of uh, Dodo from an other era. Lewis Carroll was the author of Alice Through the Looking Glass and the author has uh, given the image to the dodo uh, that means it is in our culture as well and it was the image of a very very kindly and wise old gentleman but now today dodo is now an image of human thoughtlessness now what are the mass extinction the most spectacular mass extinction are known uh, the most spectacular extinctions are known as mass extinction that means when the uh, species are dying all across the globe and they are dying in large numbers, that means the, and when the time period is very short, that is called mass extinction. So times when a large cross section of species dies out rather rapidly, that is called mass extinction. So there may have been only five or six mass extinction throughout the known history of life although there were many extinction events. So major extinctions were five or six and people may debate on the number. So uh, from the 1980s, the, uh, the mass extinction has been studied very widely and it is relatively very uh, a growing field. It has, you know, very less knowledge before 1980s. But now the knowledge in this field due to the advances in the stratigraphy, geochemistry, uh, climatic modeling, ecology, conservation and astronomy are, uh, is growing and based on this knowledge we are having the wide interdisciplinary links with these fields and we are growing the knowledge on the study of mass extinctions. So the study of mass extinction involved careful uh, hypothesis testing of all, at all levels from the broadest scale to the narrowest. Broadest scale, for example, what happened uh, when the meteorite strike 65 million years ago that killed the dinosaurs. Or it can be very narrowest that what is happening, what was happening 3 million years ago uh, in a particular area of the world. So it is, you know, the mass extinctions can be uh, studied at very larger level or at very smaller level as well. So when we are discussing uh, the normal life, the extinction is going 
every day, right? So uh, every day the new species are discovered as well as so certain species which we don't even know about can go extinct. So extinction happens all the time and it happens uh, throughout the history of life, right? So the species has a life. It uh, develops through the speciation and rather after it, uh, it is no more able to inhabit a particular environment, it goes extinct. So a species have a natural duration of few million years. So they have, they live for a time and then disappear. So their disappearing counts for the 10 to 20, uh, 5 to 10% of species die out in a million year. And that is called uh, background extinction. And there are some um, uh, features of mass extinction. More than 30% of plants and animals of, of the time and the extinct organisms spanned a broad range of ecology. So to be a mass extinction, it must have the, uh, uh, it must wipe out more than 30% of organism and it must involve large number of uh, ecologies as well. And the extinctions were worldwide covering most continent ocean bases. If the extinctions are not covering the worldwide or oceans, uh, the continents, then these are not mass extinctions. The extinctions all happen within a relatively short time. If they are happening on a protracted period of time, then these are not mass extinctions. And the last but not the least is the level of extinction stands out as considerable higher than the background extinction level. We have seen that background extinction is going on all the time. But when we see the mass extinction, it is relatively higher than the background extinction rate. 